Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime Funfeld episode with your host Boomer and today we have some updates for you. First things first, I wanted to talk about the basic farms over here. One of my viewers, Shelly, had commented that they thought these were supposed to work with the network nodes and there could be a bug. And the first thing that I thought that they were probably right, I read that comment after I created the automatic tree farming. So our basic tree grower, I've got all six types of wood growing here. And the nice thing about it is not only do you get the wood, you get the leaves. And then for oak, you also get the apples. Why am I lagging a little bit? Hmm. And it worked 100%. So my first clue was, okay, that should have worked. So I went ahead based on, you know, Shayla's recommendation to try it. And I did. And lo and behold, the network started working again. Everything started working the way it should. And that's because, you know, there was a bug. One of the things about Slime Fun that is kind of cool is the devs do send out frequent updates. The, the bad news is they send out frequent updates. I get my average server day. I see between four and seven different versions of the plugins come out. Uh, and that's every single day I, without fail. Uh, I think I had one day I had uh, two, one version got updated twice in the same day. So my recommendation, you know, it's a best practice in the industry to do a lot more testing before you just let plugins go out. And I think a little bit more due diligence would probably stop a lot of those updates from having to go out in the first place. So again, that's just the, you know, best practice uh, within the industry. Uh, people that I know uh, who are responsible for major networks. I mean, running tens of thousands of people through them uh, would would highly recommend that. So more power issues we had. In the last episode, we created nuclear power plants five and six, and I kept coming over here and seeing this full of cobble. And I'm like, why? Everything's running right. And then I would see these weren't running. So I went upstairs see what was going on. Why don't I have power? And I came up here and it was negative, running anywhere between negative two and negative six K. And I'm like, what is going on? I just added two more power plants. Well, the more things that, you know, more power I added requirements for, the more power I kept taking and then everything kept firing up and then it would stop. And so we've had to go to eight power plants, which has unfortunately put my carbon production at an even higher rate. And right now it's not keeping up. And I think what I need to do is take that carbon filter cartridge system and put it on its own separate channel with its own glass and with its own solder because the glass goes to four different parts right now. It goes to the bottle creation system. It goes to synthetic sapphire creation, synthetic emerald creation. And then it's also, it's fluffy barrel storage for regular glass. In order to put one smelter and the automatic crafting chamber on its own channel, I have to change the channels for everything else related to it, which then affects everything else, which leads me in the same spot I'm right in right now. So I think I'm going to put that on its own channel with one smeltery and one glass system just to increase its efficiency. But I can't keep producing nuclear. It's 30 or 24 reinforced ingots every single time. Blistering ingots every single time and my carbon creation continues to climb. So I'm stopping at eight nuclear. So where does that leave us? Well, we need a lot more power production. And you can see right now, my climate change isn't going down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change a cartridge system to run on its own separate channel. And that's all that's gonna go through it. Or minimal items, probably channel five. Cause the only thing that's on five right now uh, are the wood and the leaves. So I'll probably put that in its own channel down here then i will have a separate i'll take this off put the cobblestone in here and i'm gonna put the glass up there since i already have a node and the glass will come in and the glass will go out and that will go to the automatic crafting chamber so that'll fix that but the main thing we're going to do today is start getting into i want to start getting insights into infinity that's what we've titled this episode in order to get there, we needed to start deciding when we talked about infinity, we've got to get into the advanced powered machines. And what I'd started to look at creating wise, because a nuclear power plant is roughly 500 joules per second, and that's not creating enough, was the celestial panels where I want to start shooting for. Well, in order to make it, we need three advanced. To make an advanced, 
you need an energized solar generator. Right off the bat, there's three. There's 12 blistering ingots, 12 carbon autos, and everything else that goes with it. Um, 144 solar panels, which solar generators, which means 432 solar panels, which means 1,296 glass, silicon, ferrosilicon ingots. I'm going to be a busy, busy smelter. This is going to take a while to craft. Uh, basic solar panels. Now, these aren't too bad, but again, more solar panels. Machine circuits, I actually have a stack of those lying around. I have tons of mag steel, so I don't worry about these. These are actually really easy to create, but look at that. 25 joules doesn't do me squat. So I need much more than a basic solar panel. So then the advanced solar panel isn't bad, but again, energized solar generator. So if I'm going to go that route to make one of these, I might as well make one of these, which is going to create a ton more work. We've got a machine core in here, which means a machine plate, plus those, so four machine plates, right? 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 reinforced ingots per machine plate. So there's 84. 85, 86, another 24, there's 110. Yeah, that's it for the, for the reinforced ingots. So... 110 reinforced ingots and I think we're actually ready and capable to handle that 176 so looks like we've got those resources ready to go so come with me on a crafting adventure from you know where we're going to speed this up in a slightly faster time lapse just to uh, expedite this process for you a little bit but let's get going.
Hey guys, I really uh, hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I realized it was kind of long. That was 45 minutes of footage compressed down, uh, trimmed and everything, and I got it down to about five minutes. And I wanted you just to try to get a sense of what it really took to craft that beast. It took me about 45 minutes for the crafting, never mind the hours that went into it just to get the resources. So before I placed it down, I was sitting somewhere around 50 to 60 on the positive end. Uh, some machines have actually turned off now because they're caught up below. So this kind of been varying, but we picked up an extra 60,000 joules in the capacitor that goes with this. So right now, we, ooh boy, oh, we have a problem and I don't have, oh man, I have nothing on me. All I have is flint and steel. I guess we're gonna play this game, aren't we? Yep, come on, baby. Come on. Um, as soon as our friend here is out of the way. Okay, well, I guess I'll have a big hole to fill later. Um, so right now it's not producing any extra power. It has 60,000 joules stored. So if all of a sudden I start adding more machines and the nuclear can't keep up, this will kick in. I want a better option than leaving out here for, you know, hey, I had a creeper sneak up on me and there's somebody else moving looks like a skeleton in the background. It does need to have clear access to the sky. That's why I can't put it in here unless I put in a glass ceiling, which may become the option. I don't want to risk losing that thing. Uh, the sheer amount of resources it took, I mean, it's taken weeks to get to that point just to be able to get those resources. So. By the way, I want to give a really big shout out to the developer of the Infinity plugin, Riley. I reached out to him on Discord with a challenge I was having, and within 10 minutes, we had a solution. So hats off. Great job. It's nice to see a dev that not only supports their work the way he does, but uh, really had, had the right answer right off the bat, knew exactly what to look for. So thank you again, Riley. Great job. Um, but getting over to the climate change program, we've been trying to gain ground on our emissions. We're actually losing ground. We have a full dedicated process over here where we're using the automatic crafting table for vanilla recipes to make bottles and bringing in a solar ingots to make the empty canisters. We have a smeltery that's been upgraded to level two and all it does is dedicate itself to creating the ingots. The problem we have, we have so much running that our dust farm isn't efficient enough. And until I can expand on it, here's a problem I had. Just a few days ago, this was full and I had lead going into the trash can. Now I'm out. There is a fluffy machine that short term we're going to build. Long term, I do want to look at some of those machines where you can turn cobble directly into the dust to get the room back here because in order to add more machines, I'm going to have to bring them over here and kind of redo this area and you can feel it's getting a little crowded. We knew this was going to happen. This was planned. This was expected because we talked about we're going to progress through everything in this pack. So at some point, oh, I have that extra reinforced plate. At some point, we are going to go, and I believe it's in here. It might be dust extractor, cobble into dust. So this is one that if you look at it, actually other than getting a little bit more reinforced uh, back up, I could probably start crafting these soon. Now these clearly draw a lot more power. I mean, a lot more than those six machines put together on their own. Um, 30, 44, 70, 148 versus 500, but it's going to be a much faster production. So not to mention it's, it's just going to go right from cobble to dust versus what those things have to do. So there'd be a lot less network nodes that would reduce lag on the server, not that I've experienced any. But what we're going to probably do short term, there's a fluffy machine that's going to come into play for us here. And it's called the, where did I see it? The Electric Dust Recycler. So what this is going to do is take dust back in a sifted door ores. I currently have three dust that are going right into the trash can because I don't need them. It's magnesium, silver, and surprisingly zinc. I thought it would have been tin, uh, but because I've used so much zinc for batteries. 
but everything's full on his ink. So I've got it going to the trash can. Instead of going to the trash can, we're going to send it to the dust recycler and send that back over to the gold pans, excuse me, dust washers, to try to get the ones that we do need, such as lead, copper, gold, and aluminum, because those four I'm going through a lot of. So we're going to put that in in the next episode and see what that does, see what kind of can kind of get back. And then I want to step back and look at our resource situation here and try to determine what's the next best step. You know, we talked about getting all these automated farms going and, and we've got them going. And again, uh, thank you to uh, Shaoli for recognizing that this should have been working properly and getting that going. I've got a great bunch of watcher viewers out there. I really appreciate it. We've got a couple of great devs working really hard to keep these plugins running the way they should as updates come out. And so with that, we give a big boomer shout out to you guys. Having said all that tonight, we're going to wrap it up. It's 11 o'clock here. I want to get this out before we call it a night and go to bed. Thank you so much for your watching, for your feedback, and your interest in the series. Hopefully I'm doing it justice and making us a fun time. And as always, when we play Slime Fun, we're going to go boomer or we're going to go home. We'll see you later.